But Baalbek, if there was one example, one ancient site on Earth that is evidence of a lost ancient advanced civilization, and by advanced, I'm not talking about space lasers here. I'm talking about more sophisticated than what we were taught in school. On October 7th, 2024, a research team received the results of a groundbreaking analysis that will forever change our understanding of the ancient world. The subject was Baalbek's megalithic stones and the tool was a next generation quantum AI. As we'll explore, the AI's analysis concluded that the construction method shouldn't exist. I don't know how they did it. All I know is they did it. I don't think anybody knows how they did it, how they lifted those stones, how they brought them up to that level. It wasn't just about moving heavy objects. It was about a level of precision engineering, geological knowledge, and mathematical sophistication that, according to our current timeline of history, is completely impossible. The findings are about to turn the world of archaeology upside down. The engineering marvel nobody can explain. You see, in the Bika Valley of Lebanon, there's a place that makes the Great Pyramids of Giza look like a practice run. It's called Baalbek, and for centuries it has held a secret in its foundation that until now has defied all logical explanation. We're not talking about just big stones, we're talking about monoliths so gigantic they shatter our entire concept of the ancient world. At the base of what the Romans later called the Temple of Jupiter lies the Trilithon, three limestone megaliths, each measuring around 63 feet long and 14 feet high. The thing nobody tells you is the sheer weight. Each one weighs approximately 800 tons. That's 1.6 million pounds per stone. To put that into perspective, the largest blocks used to build the Great Pyramid are about 80 tons. The stones at Baalbek are 10 times heavier. Even today, with all our technology, moving something that heavy is a monumental task. The world's most powerful mobile cranes max out at around 1,200 tons, and that's under perfect controlled conditions on flat, reinforced ground. Ancient builders supposedly moved three of these behemoths, transported them over 1,300 feet from a quarry, and then lifted them 20 feet into the air to place them in a wall. And the precision is just mind-boggling. They fit together so perfectly, you can't even slip a piece of paper between them. But that's not even the most insane part. Many people are crazy about the Trilithon, but what they overlook is what's still sitting in the nearby quarry. There you'll find an even larger stone known as the Stone of the Pregnant Woman, weighing an estimated 1,000 tons. And in 2014, another, even bigger block was discovered right beneath it. This one is estimated to weigh a staggering 1,650 tons. That's over 3.3 million pounds, making it the largest single piece of rock ever carved by human hands. Mainstream archaeology has long held that this was all achieved with brute force. Tens of thousands of workers using little more than ropes, wooden rollers, and ramps over many decades. To put it mildly, modern engineers are not convinced. The amount of friction to drag such a stone, the size of the ramps needed, and the logistics of organizing that many people would be an undertaking that dwarfs any other known ancient project. The numbers just don't add up, and the evidence for such massive ramps has never been found. It's a puzzle where the pieces don't fit, a feat of engineering without an engineer. But a new analysis is changing everything we thought we knew, exposing the brute force myth. The story of Baalbek has always been stuck between simplistic explanations and wild theories of giants or aliens. But now, a third option has emerged, thanks to a cutting-edge quantum AI. Researchers fed every known piece of data about Baalbek into this system. High-resolution laser scans of the stones, geological analysis of the quarry, microscopic images of tool marks, and historical climate data. They asked it to do one thing find the most plausible construction method, no matter how unconventional. What it found completely dismantles the old brute force theory. The first breakthrough came from analyzing the quarry. The AI determined that the stones weren't just crudely bashed out of the bedrock. By examining the impossibly smooth surfaces, it concluded the builders used a highly sophisticated water-based cutting method. The AI's model suggests they carved channels around the block filled them with an abrasive slurry of sand and water, and then used long bronze saws. You see, this method would have been incredibly efficient, producing smooth, precise cuts with far less manpower. The AI calculated this technique could have reduced the required workforce by as much as 40%. What's more, the AI concluded that the unfinished stones in the quarry weren't failures. 
they were intentionally left behind as training models, showing the step-by-step -step process to apprentice stone masons. But the thing nobody tells you is how they likely separated the stones from the bedrock. The A, I found evidence of a complex water management system in the quarry floor. It proposed that builders used seasonal weather to their advantage, flooding the channels with water during the winter. As the water froze, the expanding ice would act as a powerful wedge, cracking the stone along the pre-cut lines with immense force, a technique that shows an incredible understanding of physics and hydrology. The AI's transportation simulations were even more revealing, suggesting the builders used a unique arrangement of hardwood rollers on a carefully prepared track, following a path that minimized uphill slopes, even if it meant a slightly longer journey. This wasn't brute force. This was elegant, advanced, and intelligent engineering. Engineering beyond their time. The quantum. AI's analysis went far beyond just tools and techniques. As it processed the geometric and astronomical data, a breathtaking picture began to emerge. The builders of Baalbek weren't just constructing a platform. They were embedding a cosmic blueprint into the very stones themselves. This wasn't just a building, it was a message, and we are only now beginning to decipher it. What many overlooked for centuries was the stunning mathematical precision of the site. The AI discovered that the dimensions of the Trilithon stones, their placement, and their relationship to other parts of the complex are all governed by advanced mathematical principles. The most prominent is the Golden Ratio. 1.618, a number found throughout nature that is associated with harmony and aesthetic perfection. It appears over and over again, suggesting the builders had a deep understanding of sacred geometry. They also utilized Pythagorean triples to create perfect right angles, ensuring the foundation was flawlessly level. The probability of these mathematical constants appearing by chance is, according to the AI, virtually zero. This was a deliberate, hyper-intelligent design, but the most mind-blowing discovery came from the stars. The AI cross-referenced the alignment of the temple platform with ancient celestial charts. It confirmed the site is aligned with the summer solstice sunrise, but with a shocking twist. The alignment isn't perfect for today's sky. It's perfect for the sky as it appeared between 3,000 and 4,000 years ago. This accounts for the slow wobble of the Earth's axis a phenomenon called axial precession, which wasn't officially discovered by modern science until much later. This single data point suggests the foundation of Baalbek is thousands of years older than the Romans who built the temples on top of it. It points to a forgotten, highly advanced civilization with a profound knowledge of long-form astronomy. They were building for eternity, aligning their greatest work with the slow, grinding clockwork of the cosmos itself. But the AI's most shocking discovery was hidden deep underground. The final clue in the tool marks. Just when researchers thought the Baalbek mystery couldn't get any deeper, the quantum AI delivered its most startling revelation yet. By processing ground-penetrating radar scans taken from beneath the temple platform, it identified a series of vast geometric anomalies directly under the Trilithon stones. These were not random caves or natural voids in the rock. The scans revealed clean lines, perfect right angles, and interlocking chambers laid out in a pattern far too deliberate to be geological. It appears that the entire megalithic platform may have been constructed over a hidden subterranean complex, one whose layout suggests planning, purpose, and precision far beyond what we associate with the ancient world. We don't yet know what these chambers were for. Perhaps storage, ceremonial sanctuaries, or something far stranger, but their existence has completely rewritten the narrative of Baalbek. The AI's analysis didn't stop there. It turned its digital eye to the smallest details, the microscopic tool marks etched into the stone itself. What it found made archaeologists uneasy. The grooves, ridges, and surface polishing patterns did not match the results of simple bronze or copper tools. Those metals would have been far too soft to carve basalt or granite on such a massive scale. Instead, the quantum AI detected fractal-like scoring patterns that suggest the use of composite tools, possibly bronze saws embedded with extremely hard minerals like corundum or emery. But even more stunningly, it identified signs of controlled heat application. Some sections appeared to have been thermally shocked, 
heated to near melting point and then rapidly cooled, making the rock easier to fracture and shape. If true, this points to an ancient civilization with an advanced grasp of metallurgy and thermal dynamics that should not have existed at the time. This revelation implies something extraordinary. Whoever built Baalbek was operating with knowledge that predates recorded history by thousands of years. According to the AI's predictive modeling, the likelihood that these techniques evolved independently within the known Roman or pre-Roman context is less than 1%. It proposes instead that the Romans may have simply built on top of something far older, inheriting and reusing a foundation whose builders remain unknown. When the AI ran a comparative analysis between Baalbek's layout and other ancient sites like Giza, Pumapunku, and Gobekli Tepe, each site appears to follow an underlying pattern based on harmonic ratios tied to the precession of the equinoxes. That means their positioning wasn't random. They may have been part of a vast, interconnected grid, a global network of sacred or scientific outposts aligned with the stars. If this is true, then Baalbek was not just a temple or fortress, but one node in a forgotten planetary system of energy, astronomy, and mathematics. One of the wildest theories suggests that the subterranean structures beneath Baalbek could have functioned as a kind of resonance chamber. The stones above, some weighing over 1,000 tons, might have amplified low-frequency vibrations generated within these chambers. The resulting resonance could have been used for acoustic levitation, sound-based construction techniques, or even ritual communication with distant locations. This isn't entirely science fiction. Modern physics has shown that certain frequencies can reduce friction and create temporary lift in small-scale lab experiments. If an ancient civilization discovered this effect naturally, perhaps through ritual chanting or harmonic resonance, they might have scaled it up in ways we still don't understand. Another radical possibility proposed by fringe theorists is that Baalbek stones were part of an ancient power system. The granite blocks contain traces of quartz, a material capable of piezoelectric effects when subjected to pressure or vibration. Combined with the layered limestone beneath an effective conductor of static energy, this setup could, in theory, have acted like a primitive energy grid. The subterranean chambers might have housed water channels or metallic inclusions that helped distribute this energy across the site. In other words, Baalbek might once have functioned as a massive ancient generator, harnessing natural earth energies long before the age of electricity. Of course, mainstream archaeology dismisses such claims, arguing that no evidence exists for a lost global civilization or advanced prehistoric science. Yet every time technology takes a step forward, the line between myth and reality blurs just a little more. The quantum AI's reconstruction of Baalbek's site plan uncovered ratios and measurements that precisely match constants like pi and the golden ratio, mathematical principles supposedly unknown to ancient builders. These numbers appear encoded not only in the dimensions of the platform, but in the spacing of the subterranean anomalies. This suggests intentional design guided by complex geometric understanding. Even more unsettling are the temporal correlations. When the AI projected Baalbek's original orientation backward using precession data, it found that the temple's axis aligns almost perfectly with the star Deneb as it would have appeared around 10,500 BCE. That date matches the mysterious Global Reset Era often cited in mythologies worldwide, the supposed end of the last ice age and the fall of an earlier advanced civilization. Could Baalbek be one of the last surviving remnants of that world? Some researchers now speculate that the site may be connected to what ancient Sumerian texts call the landing place of the gods. These records describe sky beings descending to massive stone platforms in the mountains. While traditional scholars interpret that as myth, the uncanny similarities between the descriptions and Baalbek's colossal terrace cannot be ignored. Perhaps those myths were distorted memories of an older technological era, retold across generations until the science became legend. The implications are staggering. If Baalbek predates known history by tens of thousands of years, then humanity's entire timeline must be reconsidered. It would mean that advanced societies rose and fell long before Mesopotamia or Egypt, achieving levels of sophistication we only rediscovered millennia later. The notion of progress as a straight line collapses. Instead, history becomes a series of cycles, 
epics of brilliance followed by ages of darkness and forgetting. We're no longer asking how ancient builders moved massive stones. We're asking who they really were, what they understood about the universe, and why their knowledge vanished. Were they survivors of an earlier cataclysm preserving fragments of lost science? Were they part of a human civilization that achieved near-modern mastery only to be wiped out by nature or their own creation? Did a lost, advanced civilization build this, or are we still underestimating the genius of ancient people? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe for more journeys into the mysteries of our past.